Hey everybody, I had to find me a bench at the park today. The uh, wind's kicking it up, so I had to get a little wind break going here. Today we're going to look at Matthew chapter 25. In Matthew chapter 25, Jesus, uh, he ends the chapter with this, I don't know if you would call it a parable, it's more of a look forward. And you'll recognize it immediately as I begin to read uh, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in His glory, and all, his ho all the holy angels with Him, then shall He sit upon the throne of His glory, and before Him shall be gathered all nations. So you remember that passage, and all the nations are gathered before Him, and He separates them like a shepherd separates sheep from goats. So this is at the end. It's really fitting that it comes at the end of 25, because in 24 we had his look forward to the coming, and now we end with the coming. Of course, we've had two parables about coming, and now we end with a look at, from the lips of Christ, his return. When the Son of Man comes. So it's not an if, it's a when. He is coming. We might feel like that this is the time and the season of that coming, but we don't know that. We don't know when he's going to come. But he's coming, and he's going to come with all the holy angels, and he's going to sit on his glorious throne. So there's a glory of his coming. There's a glory of his throne. There's a glory of the gathering of the nations. He's going to gather them all together because it's all going to be done. No more. And he's going to gather them all together, and he's going to separate the sheep. He, and you notice that it says there, his sheep from the goats, as a shepherd separates his sheep from the goats. So our great shepherd is going to separate the church out from the rest of the world. The tares will be separated from the wheat. So I hope this encourages you today to know that there's an end coming and there's a glorious Christ who is going to return. It's not, this is not a, uh, an if statement. This is a when statement. He is coming. There's no question about it. So let's glorify our glorious Christ today and meditate on that idea of his glorious throne. It's going to be wonderful. One day we're going to stand before it. We don't often think about standing before thrones, but we are going to one day and it'll be his. Now let's glorify Christ and make much of him today. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.